Today I am talking about switchyard and electrical power system. I will discuss its various elements and their functions in this presentation. Main constituent of this presentation are Introduction Types of switchyard Equipment used in switchyard Circuit breaker CT and CVT transformer Bus bar Lightning arrester Insulator An isolator and earth switch A switchyard is generally applied to the assemblage of switches, power circuit breakers, buses, and auxiliary equipment that is used to collect power from the generators of a power plant and distribute it to the transmission lines at a load point. Or a switchyard is a switching station that connects the generating plant to the transmission system. It has a large influence on the security of the supply. The switchyard is used to control the flow of electricity from the power plant to the transmission lines. It is also used to protect the transmission lines from overloading and other problems. There are two types of switchyards. Outdoor switchyards. Indoor switchyards. Indoor switchyards are used for low voltage distribution lines. Or, the indoor switchyard is used to control the flow of electricity from the transmission lines to the distribution lines. It is also used to protect the distribution lines from overloading and other problems. They are usually located near the load center. While outdoor switchyards are used for high voltage transmission lines. Or, the outdoor switchyard is used to control the flow of electricity from the power plant to the transmission lines. It is also used to protect the transmission lines from overloading and other problems. They are usually located near the power plant. The equipment used in switchyards includes circuit breakers, transformers, bus bars, lightning arresters, insulators, isolators, and earth switches. These equipments are used to control the flow of electricity and protect the transmission and distribution lines from overloading and other problems. Circuit breakers are used in switchyards to protect the electrical equipment from damage due to overloading and short circuits. They are used to control the flow of electricity and protect the transmission and distribution lines from overloading and other problems. CT stands for current transformer and CVT stands for capacitive voltage transformer. CT is used to measure the current in high voltage transmission lines while CVT is used to measure the voltage in high voltage transmission lines. Both CT and CVT are used in switchyards to control the flow of electricity and protect the transmission and distribution lines from overloading and other problems. A bus bar is a metallic strip or bar used to distribute electrical power in switchyards. It is used to connect the incoming and outgoing transmission lines to the circuit breakers and transformers. Bus bars are made of copper or aluminum and are designed to carry high currents. A lightning arrester is a device used to protect electrical equipment from lightning strikes. It is used in switchyards to protect the transmission and distribution lines from overloading and other problems caused by lightning strikes. Lightning arresters are designed to conduct the high voltage current from the lightning strike to the ground, thereby protecting the electrical equipment. An insulator is a material used to prevent the flow of electricity. It is used in switchyards to support the transmission and distribution lines and to prevent them from coming into contact with each other or with the ground. 
Insulators are made of materials such as porcelain, glass, or composite materials and are designed to withstand high voltages. An isolator is a device used to isolate a section of the electrical network from the rest of the network. It is used in switchyards to isolate the transmission and distribution lines from each other and from the ground. An earth switch is a device used to connect the transmission and distribution lines to the ground. It is used in switchyards to protect the transmission and distribution lines from overloading and other problems. Here is a diagram for switchyard to understand it. Thanks for watching that that's all for today's video on switchyard and its elements. I hope you found it useful and interesting. I welcome your suggestions in comment box on what topic you want me to cover. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Never forget to like and share.